let's talk about second line. We will discuss its definition, second line slope, the slope of a line and difference quotient which is also called the average rate of change of a function in detail. Starting with the question, what is a second line? It is a line passing through two points of a curve. And what is more important is its slope as it tells a lot about the nature of the curve and has a crucial role in the study of derivatives. But first thing first, the slope of a line represents how slanted the line is. A horizontal line has a slope of zero and a vertical line has a slope of infinite. And this property pops out from the definition of the slope as it is defined to be for some change of x how much does the y change. For the same change of x greater change in y means a larger slope and for the same change of x smaller change in y means a lesser slope. And you may have memorized the slope formula as rise over run in which the rise represents the change in y coordinates and the run represents the change in x coordinates. And if we represent y as a function of its x coordinates and the change in x as delta x, what we obtain is a difference quotient. And we can interpret the difference quotient as the average rate of a function between two points. To illustrate it, consider the velocity versus time graph in which at 1 and 3 seconds the velocity is v1. And between the interval, the body speeds up to v2 in the first second and slows back down to v1 in the second. So the slope of the second line tells us that on average the body was moving with the same speed v1 and with zero acceleration. Or just to say, speeding up cancels the effect of slowing down and on average the body was moving with the velocity v1. Furthermore, the second line has an important role in the study of derivatives. But this topic is beyond the scope of this video. But the upcoming videos will be about the study of derivatives. So subscribe to the channel.